Welcome back to the Skid Factory. Today we're down at Willowbank Raceway attending the Road Trip Drag Challenge. So this is a bit of a takeoff from uh, Drag Week in the States and also Street Machine Drag Challenge here in Australia. These events are upcoming, everyone's doing them and they're absolutely epic. So today it's currently what, six o'clock I think it is, we're at Willowbank Raceway. Six o'clock Friday night. Friday night, we're about to race under the lights. Um, tonight we camp out here. Tomorrow we're heading to Warwick Raceway, which is, I don't know how far away that is. 150 kilometers away. 150 Ks and then from Warwick, uh, we stay overnight there, have a sausage sizzle, have a few lemon squashes. Sunday we head to Lakeside for it's not an it's 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 an eighth mile race. Lakeside's just a it's, it's a it's a circuit thing, yeah. But um, um, they use the front straight and do an eighth mile. Lakeside's for um, fun. There's no time, but it is what it is. So there's a heap of cars here. Uh, following up the build review we did on the Lolvo, is that what we're calling the it? Lolvo, yeah, the Lolvo, yeah. It's always been called. So we're down here with um, Pete. We've also got our mate Dave in his wife's Golf R wagon. Um, which she only found out that he was racing it today and she wasn't very happy. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn, for letting us borrow the car for the weekend. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's going to be fine. They've just done a driver's briefing. Everyone's heading back to their cars and... There's a big herd of drivers heading towards us. So now we're going to start we'll some racing. We'll wrap it up and get onto the track and see how Pete goes. Hey, Macca. Yes, yeah, Woody. The owner of the most expensive <laughs> RB20 in the world. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah. Good, good. Have you got this thing ironed out yet or not? Nah, it's still... nah, that's all right. We'll see how we go. We'll have we'll you raced it since um, Drag Challenge? Only Lake Sword. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, not really that much. Nah, not really much. Surely you've done a bit, a bit of, of street driving. Yeah, a bit of street testing, yeah. Yeah, yeah sweet. Try out some new tyres and uh, yeah, see how we go. I think we're in for a good weekend, man. Yeah, I reckon so. All right. Should be a bit of fun. That's it. I'll see you tonight for a, for a lemon squash. Sounds good, mate. For sure. How many cars were here this weekend? 80. 80. Entered. 80 entered. But not all here yet. Mm. Maybe the rain scared the people off. Maybe they have just finished work and still got a giddy. That's true. <laughs> David. Hello. How'd you go, mate? Terrible. I couldn't get it to work the launch control out. Oh, so many buttons. So many buttons. Too that's, much technology. That's a Euro thing. But yeah. What, what'd you end up doing anyway? 895. That's all right. Actually, no, you did better it's... than the Hoff. <laughs> yeah, well, the Hoff's 896, isn't it? I think really? So. Yeah. But he's got air conditioning too, so. Yeah. That, that makes it better, doesn't it? Yeah. Spacious. Cool. Oh, I'm going to head off. All right, mate. Cheers. Catch up. We'll see you tomorrow see morning. You tomorrow. Dave's gone home because he's afraid of wolves. No. They are regular around these parts, so he's going to sleep at home tonight over in Brisbane, about an hour away. We're going to tough it out. We'll be right.
you go, Pete? Uh, not breaking any records, yeah. not even my own. Yeah. Fresh engine, but too scared to turn it up, so my best so far is 7.7 seven at 94 uh, today. Previous best is 7.53 at 100, so still got a bit of room for improvement, so yeah. We'll See how it. we go. That's it. We've got a long weekend ahead of us, bro. Yeah, That's I know, it. right? Turn it up on Sunday. Maybe we can, yeah. Yeehaw! Ticket, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I found someone else's. Maybe I can just use that. What do you reckon? <laughs> Bring the white out. Nah, look, uh, one of these, one of these should be good, but look, that's my run there. I don't know if you can see that. Look, 720 and 98.9. I'm going to call that 720 out of 100, which is a PB, so happy days. There's his fan there. Does that turn on? It works sometimes. Some switch on the side. Oh, we're on. Yeah, so that's our air conditioning. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, it's not going to get much better than that, so... Oh, what's Ooh. this? What is this? It's broken. The air con stopped working. No, <laughs> no. Alright, there we go. One PB down. So, 7208 at 98.9. Pretty happy with that. We're just about to line up and stage again, but it's getting a little bit hot. We saw the Hoffert pulled over, so he's smarter than us, so we did the same thing. Uh, might give it another crack and see how we go from there. Lemon squash and still get it steady. Ah, I see. Yeah. Where's, the, where's the lemon squash holder? Yeah, no, that's a good idea. It is a good I idea. I need someone who knows something about fabrication. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the call has been made. No more tonight. Call that a win. PB, I mean, I don't think it's going to go much faster. So, yeah, time for a couple of lemon squashes. Your shout, Woody. You want one? Yeah. Here you go, mate. The legendary Skid Factory Stubby Cooler. Want me to open it for you too? Your Highness. Hang on, that's not a lemon squash. No, it's a gold, gold squash. Ooh, a bit shaken up. Bro, why, where's the lemon squash? So I figured one, we're camping, so you need to have cans. And secondly, no one's driving, so. Lemon squash is in cans. So we can get the adult Lemon squash is in a uh, high high content squash. Mm. Mm. This one tastes like froth. Mm. I pre shook it up for you. Sweet, thanks for that. How good's that? Dexter ran a PB. The Hoff's gone back out to do another run because he wasn't happy. He was over there. Uh, Dave did the old run and done it. and back to home because he's scared of the wolves. And wolves are scary, bro. We've got a gas cooker and no meat or food or anything, so I think we're going to be ordering Domino's. I think you should go and get Domino's before you have that lemon squash. You're staying in the bloody Taj Mahal, because this... God knows how that packs down smaller than my swag. And there's racing going on all night. How good's that? Actually, there's some chips here. You want some chips? They're not yours, they're Hoff's. I'll take Nugget some. Garage Crew will kill you. Maybe we can crush all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's done for the night. Up early in the morning. Alan can make me a coffee and... With what? We ain't got nothing. Surely the Hoff's got something. Yeah. 
There you go. Chris has got coffee. He loves um, that. We've got no cup. We just have and to then off to drink it out of our hand. Warwick. Warwick. Done and dusted. Eight. Good night, homies. Good, good night. Mm -hmm. It's not even funny, it's called sleep apnea. It's probably like half dying there. <laughs> but the snorting is funny. Sounds cool, eh? Not, not sure if testing in tuning or 2am power cruise. <laughs> no, it's not Dave, free revving. Where you got that? Coffee. Little skid bro, the old ones. Yeah, the cup's so hot I had to put a cooler around it. Can I have a coffee please, Ethel? He only has a all over it. Are you making me one? Thanks, mate. I'm all over it, bro. I hope you like lots of sugar. Is it real sweet? It's pretty mixed. Uh, we got kept up all night by someone snoring, so the Hoff decided to pay them back uh, and start up the combo this morning and test out two-step and launch. Um, it was actually a pretty good sound to wake up to, so I'm not complaining. But we're just kind of packing down now, got to get the marquee and the swags and everything uh, packed away and onto the roof of the Lolvo. Then we can hit the road. I think we're going to stop at a servo on the way, get a burger, and then head straight to Warwick and get some eighth mile passes in later on this afternoon. Who are we waiting for? David. Why is the tent still packed up, uh, standing still? Because David said I can't take it down. Why? I can build his friggin' drag car, but I can't take his tent down. <laughs> logic. David logic. He's in management, bro. He's micromanaging me. She'd be right, mate. She'd be right. Bit of trouble in paradise, mate. No trouble. No, no trouble. trouble. No, it's fine. It's Volvo. Yeah. Just send it. Top yeah. it up and off we go. Yeah. Maybe.
We've arrived at uh, Warwick Dragway or Morgan Morgan Park Raceway, is that it? Yeah, it's like the Morgan Park Recreational Reserve. So, how was your leisurely drive out here, Ellen? Oh, it was, it was boring, you know. <laughs> we're in like the world's most boring performance car, so... You know, we, um... You know how much of a fan of Volkswagens I'm not? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Stupid things. So we had to pull over because the strap came loose on the roof, almost lost a wheel, you don't want that to happen. Uh, what else happened? We... Nothing happened to us. Found the diff is leaking some oil, so we went to Super Cheap, got some diff oil, and I then went, we found the... I went to Super Cheap and bought an Esky, bro. Feet. Then we found the handbrake cables were resting on the tail shaft because the car's never been this low. <laughs> um, Just drag road trip things. Overdrive doesn't work, or does work. No, they just found a blown fuse. That's what it was. I don't know, but they found a blown fuse, so that's always a good thing. So now he's going for a drive to check overdrive. The racing begins at one o'clock. Currently Oops. now is 12. So Sorry, my bad, quarter to 11. And then the racing begins. That's the secret stash. You should see what else I can put in there. The Volvo's got everything. Tell them what you've been up to. <laughs> Lamburgers. Like I say, right lane always gives way to the left lane. Alright? Guys, uh, the Esky over the far side there does have water. Get out yet, Dave? No, not yet.
Comfy though. Yeah. It's like sitting in a room of boredom. There's a lot of flies here, right? Sure. Eh? Going on, mate? Absolutely. I just turned it off so it stops leaking before I oh, get okay. Did you figure out launch control yet? Sorted. Yeah? Yep. Should have the uh, traction control button down for a bit longer. Sweet. Do you want me to show you? No, that's all good. <laughs> blat, blat, blat. <laughs> so many parts. What an afternoon of racing so far it's been. Pete's been hot lapping the car like a madman, and so has Dave, even though Dave's got the aircon on. Um, Dave figured out how to use launch control on the Golf, so he's kind of got that thing down pat now. I think he's going to do some do good in the DYO, dial your own class, um, this afternoon. There's actually $3,000 up for grabs, which is pretty bloody good prize money for a DYO. Um, Pete has been doing some good times, 730, 740s, 750s, um, and he wants to turn it up. So we're having a bit of a break at the moment and we're gonna put some more boost into it and see how we go later on this afternoon. And then it's time for a lemon squash later. All right, here we go. About to have another crack and I'm up against my nemesis. The guy who's gonna beat me, I'm pretty sure, but we'll soon find out. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Well done, Rodney. All right, that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I ran a little bit faster than him, ET, but he mild an hour me, so he won. But we're about to have another crack, so wish me luck again. One day. So those of you that race will know the feeling, you kind of see red, you're up against your direct competition, your yellow, so you just throw what you got at it and that's where we're at now. So let's see how this pans out. Alright, 
Game time. Pretty healthy looking uh, XR6 Turbo Ute. I'm up against this time, so let's see how we go. the hot for Cleveland exhaust. I swear to God he's a magician on that laptop. I thought he was going to turn it down, but that felt quick. Yeehaw! So you know how I said that felt real good? Well, I don't know how clear this is, but if you can't read that, that says that 0.25 reaction, nothing to write home about, but a 1.8660 foot, which is good for a Volvo on a 225 mile an hour, 101.5 and 7088. Yep, real good PB there. Once again, boys at the skid factory, Hoffa Cleveland exhaust, the whole crew, you name it. Just outstanding work, guys. Thank you. Seven. 088. Did you say 70? Yes, I did. And over 100. I say, okay, right. So I've just submitted the fastest time slip that I have received for the eighth mile. So 101.58 mile an hour at 7088 for the eighth. So it's way too fast for a dirty old Volvo on three year old 225. So I'll, I'll call that a win. That's definitely a win. Yeah. If someone said you might be actually winning a fast. It wouldn't be the first time. Look, I'm, I'm used to it, right? <laughs> Don't get too smug, come on. Uh, too smug. Shout out to Dave. <laughs> so yeah. Oh uh, well. Anyway, look, I'm a bit of a ginger and the sun's in my face and I don't like it. So I might call it a day and uh, yeah, that's it. Good on you, Skid Factory. Thank you, thank you, Pete. Don't thank oh. us. With general racing finished for the afternoon, entrants can then have a shot at $3,000 in the dial your own category. Each competitor submits a time that their car will run down the eighth mile. A number is then pulled from a bucket to select a random opponent. Competitors race each round and the winner is determined who crosses the line first without going faster than their posted time. Losers can buy back into the race once by forfeiting $20 and the accumulated money is up for grabs for second place. It's a true test of driver's skill and reaction time. What happened the first go there, mate? What happened? Uh, he didn't put the handbrake down properly, and that's my two-step switch. Oh, okay then. So, not only did it not get on the two-step, it drove out and then got on the two-step. <laughs> At the 60-foot mark. 60-foot <laughs>
So the Hoff had a run with Matty Loy uh, in the Belmont wagon and Scott red lighted by 0 0.004 of a second. And if he didn't red light, he actually would have got Matty in that run. So hats off to Matt. He actually just ran again and took the win and he's still got himself a peg so he can actually buy back in. Can he buy back in the final? I don't know how that works anyway. Um, for those of you who don't know this car, check out Nugget Garage. Have you guys done videos on this car yet? Uh, in the works. In the works. Check out Nugget Garage. There may be videos on it. If not, there's going to be videos on this thing. It's an epic car and check out their channel because they're absolute legends. Uh, we're done for the night anyway. It's time for a lemon squash. I may or may not have had a couple already. Um, we've had a massive day. I've done heaps of walking around on my feet. I'm a little bit sunburnt. I'm very hungry and it's time to relax. And that is, that's Alan calling me back. See you guys tomorrow. We've hit Sunday morning. We're just packing up, ready to go again. We've got a checkpoint down the road that we've got to stop in at before eight o'clock. Um, we had a few laughs last night, no campfire, a few wallabies jumping around this morning having a bit of a barney, so that, that was a bit of entertainment for the, for the country boy. Um, everything's been going well, Pete's been killing it in the Volvo, although he, hasn't, he didn't win last night, but he, um, he's doing really good times, um, PBs, um, Dave's wife car is a Volkswagen and it still goes, um, and it has air conditioning. That's about it. Nothing else to report? Nah, let's hit the road. We've done the two and a half hour trek from Morgan Park Raceway in Warwick, west of Brisbane, to Lakeside Raceway at Kuangba, which is north of Brisbane. There's a Happy Laps event on today, so there's a lot going on. There's a heap more cars here, lots of cool stuff. Uh, we're about to jump in the Volvo and go and join the fun. Let's go. Where's Dave's car? Oh, Dave's wife had to go shopping, so. And that's really what it's for, so. Dave's just here, spectating now. Aircon. <laughs> How good is it? This thing's got everything, mate. Style, practicality. You haven't been to one of these events before, have you? I haven't been to Lakeside before. I haven't been in the Volvo around a happy laps for years. Because we're always at drag week when power cruise is on. Yeah, true that. Uh, 
Look at that hot chick with, with Ethel. Who's that? Ethel picked up. Hell yeah. Who's that chick? <laughs> The Hoff uh, did a mischief on his back, so he's rest? having a rest. Good luck with rest. Are you gonna get that thing on boost or what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I you miss events like this so much. You were both cranked up at this exact same time. Yeah. The kid's going, yeah, out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that felt like boots out, didn't it? Might do that. A bit more weight in the car. We've been red lit, we have to go back into the pits, and I think we might need to put that the proper tyres on because she's it's a little bit skatey. It's happy. I like it. So we decided to come back out without changing tyres. Um, Pete made the executive decision that he doesn't want to snap axles, so we're leaving the what are these, like 205 or something like that, Dexy? I don't know, I found them in a wrecker. We've got some wrecker tyres that are probably 10 years old. Some really cool cars out. That car's got a number plate that says Palmy. Palmy? Hell it yeah. It says Palmy. We have got an RB... I guess it's an RB30 with a 25 head. I think, I think it's just an RB25. Piranha with us. It's part of the road trip. It goes very well. It's cool that a lot of the road trip cars have arrived now, so everyone's coming out. Cool Tirana as well, that's like a pretty iconic body shape for an Australian 70s vehicle. Hello, Chestnut. How are you good at? The old... 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 and the diversity of cars, like, yeah. there's just everything and anything, yeah, which is that. which is awesome. Oh no, no, oh, F6 is Mr. Smoky. Turbo Seal, he not here. <laughs> Mr. Turbo! <laughs> so that's done for the cruising sessions. We got a heap of fun, we got chopped a few times, that's it, that is what it is. Uh, that's the fun that you have when you're out here doing these events. Um, I think now we're gonna throw the semis on and then there is uh, like eighth mile, like heads up racing, uh, there's no times today, but you still have to race today to get your points. Um, as far as I know, I think Pete's doing pretty well overall points wise, so we'll have to see what happens there. Um, fingers crossed, he might take home another trophy. He's taken home a few over the years because he's done these events the last three years in a row, so no doubt he'd probably take home another trophy.
are my ballast. What's all this for, Pete? What's going on? You see my wheels, bro? They're three year old 225s and they weren't that sticky to begin with, so. Some secret dumbbells. Yeah, no one knows, it's fine. Alright, so a bit of practice for the finals at Lakeside. Now, this is not actually a drag strip, so it's just a circuit. I just put a tree in the middle of the road and uh, yeah, give it a shot of getting down. It's not going to happen, not on these tyres, but we'll soon find out, eh? The final runs at Lakeside consisted of each entrant racing everyone in their class. Every win gained 10 points to your overall score. So here we are, finals, road trip. I already had a couple of races, forgot to push the buttons. Oh well, life goes on, but yeah, up against the Hoff, so anything can happen, right? Wish me luck. Wish him luck too, because he's a good dude. That's racing, folks. Yeah, not much can be said. I'm guessing you probably heard a fair bit of clunking, and uh, yeah, that'll be my diff exploding. So, RECQ wouldn't be without him, I guess. What's your call? Uh, shredded differential. Yeah. Yeah. It's going like a train too. <laughs> right in front of us. Did he have the hop off the line? Yeah, he was going to chop the No, it's a bit. It's a bit. He didn't chop the line. I'd be a lot more The hop is right considering himself lucky. So if I didn't have axles, I'd have axles, if so, you know what I'm saying. Say that again, what did you, what did you just say? Well, the ironic part of this is I overloaded it with axles and I think I may have broken axles with my axles. So I put axles and I, it's complicated, you, you okay? You put the it's axles in the things. wrong spot, bro. <laughs> That's racing, right? Oh well. No, no, Mr. Pinion, he no here. Oh no. <laughs> Have you talked him into doing a BTR dip yet or what? That will be the end of today's adventures. The axles are still okay. The old the... Dana 30's done well. It's the first time we've broken a pinion. Usually axles break. How old's that pinion? Oh, that's, no, that's probably... Oh, yeah. Is that... Oh, this is a new... It's probably set. on its fifth dip by now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, it's time to hit the road, I suppose, isn't it? Probably. Can you get me a lemon squash? Sure. How many have you had already? No, you're driving, bro. Yeah, I know that. How many have you had already? Um, I don't know. <laughs> 
what a weekend it's been. Starting off at Willowbank Raceway on Friday night through to Warwick and now today at Lakeside. Uh, the road trip drag challenge has treated us well. I never thought I'd have so much fun crammed in the back of a Volvo wagon. Pete, any words you'd like to say? Oh, look, firstly, I'd like to thank my wife and family for supporting me and, you know, she said she'd burn the car if I didn't come, so pretty good motivator she is. Um, big ups to Mick Apps from Lakeside 8th Mile, putting on the road trip. Very hospitable, great event, I love it. This is my fourth year here, I'll be back next year. You're a bit of a veteran now. Yeah, yeah. So this event is a little bit different to some of the other drag challenge or um, type events. Um, it's, it's a lot more casual and it's, it's a lot less stressful. Um, and yeah, it's pretty, it's a it's great, pretty yeah, cool it's atmosphere. Awesome. Everyone just chills and chats and Mick you know, put a on. few lemon squashes. Mick put on a big feed. Massive feed. Uh, up in Warwick. Lots it's nice to go there. see the countryside on the way up to Warwick. It's, oh, it's um, interesting interesting drive. The, the thing I like about it is you don't have to be, there's not like a six hour drive between checkpoints no. and that stuff, which is cool in a sense, but it's a cruisy track to track, you can pull up, set up camp, you're allowed to have a support vehicle so you can have your mates following you with all your camping equipment and also it's always safe to have a car trailer there when you're ready just in case something does happen, to get your car off the side of the road, side of a highway, um, there was a few instances where that happened and it's good to get you out of trouble. So oh, yeah. thanks Mick for putting you on a great, great yeah. event. I think I'm going to be coming next year, definitely. Yeah, we'll be coming. Sure. Yeah, yep. sweet. Uh, thanks for watching, as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to support the show. Grab yourself some uh, lemon squash coolers or allied shirts, give back your shirts, all that stuff. Subscribe, like the videos. We've got weekly videos coming out, and um, we love what we do. So stay tuned for. Yeah, you stink. We all need a shower, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> not, together, not together. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> not together. There's anything wrong with that. Stay tuned for next week's episode. I don't even know what's what's up. I don't even know what's going on. Who knows? Yeah. It'll be something good. Some, something. Something good. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Horses for courses. Mm. Racing for sheep steaks, bro. Sheep steaks, you say? Sheep steaks. <laughs> Is that like a James Hardy t shirt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you muppet. <laughs> Are we filming? Oh, hi. <laughs>